God spoke to me. There is a big battle coming. It's like a pandemic. Not of sickness, but of guns. An exchange of superpowers. And fear gripped me in my vision. This vision has come to me three times and have been trying to pay attention to the details of this vision because they were coming to me in pieces. And in trying to assemble this vision, even thought, I've not gotten everything full, but I can see clearly what God is trying to say. Countries like China, America, Russia, Israel, the Middle East and the Arab world. I see a shaking that can shake the whole world and bring the whole world to our knees. We have to pray that the battle of ego among superpower should not eat up every other country's under. I'm not seeing two elephants fighting. I'm seeing elephants exchanging strength. And I'm afraid of the signs I'm seeing coming. And this is not sickness. This is an exchange of weapons. I see provocation. I see counter reaction. I'm not talking about what is happening in Israel now. It's beyond Israel. And I'm not trying to take side with any nation. I'm praying for peace. Because if this happens, the center will not hold. A lot of things will fall apart. This vision came to me three times. And I saw everywhere at still, I see suffering. Harshness, economic meltdown. I see superpowers crawling because of the tremendous counter impact that will be too disastrous. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I neither play with my visions. I prefer you insult me now, but take me serious. Prophet, what is the solution? I want to appeal to world powers, great leaders, our great leaders. Do not react because of egotistic feeling that we want to maintain. This is an embarrassment. I want to plead advisors to super world leaders to please I beg you in the name of God, do not advise your principal into war. What I am seeing, the signs are not good. The signs are not good. And in one of the pieces I was shown, I saw countries that don't look like superpower coming at the front with tremendous weapons that can even humiliate superpowers. Yes. My fear, I repeat it again, the signs ahead, they are not good. Let's pray. It's not about Africa, it's about the world leaders. I took my time to pray and scan the countries I have not mentioned but this is very important 
Are there signs? Mm, these, the, signs the signs are not the signs you are seeing. I see provocation. I see insult. Now, you will know that I'm a prophet. Who is this person? This is a white man. This is a moderate height. Why is this person down in the pool of blood? Where did this happen? How did this happen? I smell conspiracy. Is it actually conspiracy? This is an insult. We must reply. How? You will understand that I'm a prophet that I'm not guessing. So that we don't turn into what we call third world war. It's there. It's there. Around the corner. Please. Our leaders. This is not about prayer. It's about caution. It's about swallow your pride. We build too many things to allow ego to destroy everything in the name of provocation. What leaders, great leaders, honorable leaders, and advisors, advisors, do not service the egos of your leaders into provoking them to prove you are strong. You are world power. Nobody can take your place. Let not just one little provocation destroy all you have ever worked for. Because billions and trillions will go on this. It will take 60 to 70 years to repair what will happen if this happens.